Hey, what's up, guys? Terry Slay is coming at you guys with my Sony Vegas settings, uh, so just the settings and render settings and stuff that I use for my YouTube videos. I've been getting a couple of uh, requests. Uh, I got, you know, noticed on Twitter uh, about some guy. He just messaged me wanting my uh, Model for Two settings and stuff like that. I have a couple of uh, color corrections, as you guys can see here. I just uh, named two of them after a joke, as a matter of fact, just because he uses some of them in his videos and such like that. So. Uh, once my keyframe will load here, I can show you guys. This is just some Dead Island gameplay uh, that I was playing not too long ago. Just got the game today. It's really awesome. Can't wait to uh, show you guys my, um, you know, color corrections and stuff like that. This might not be what you guys want to see. Uh, I'll just kind of, you know, skip through it if you guys want to see it. Let me drag it back a couple keyframes just for you guys to see the preview screen. And this is a good preview screen. So right now. You basically can see the sky, uh, different colors of blue. You basically have every color in this uh, preview screen right now. And I'm using this uh, preset, the just agony preset that I used to have. And uh, so, putting it on right now. And there's the outcome. It looks really sick, especially in this game. This is my first time actually even putting it on. Uh, I like it. I mean, I don't know whether if it's worth putting a whole, you know, let's play, uh, you know, color correction on it. I will, probably wouldn't do that. Maybe just a little brightness and contrast here and there. But I actually use color curves on mine just because I just like the whole flow. It looks really nice. The clouds look really good. Uh, just you know, the brights look really good. The shades fine. Uh, we got a couple of dead guys over here. It makes it really cool. So, uh, you know, I can do some uh, color correction videos and stuff like that. So if you guys want that, that'll be uh, that'll be that. And I will get on into my project properties right now. Basically, what uh, is right here uh, in the preview screen is what's up here. And I would just click that with the little mouse icon up in my Sony Vegas. And it came up with this. I just use this template uh, HDV 720, 30p, uh, 1280 by 720, and 29.97 FPS. Uh, width and height is basically self explanatory, as you guys can see. Now I capture in this frame rate, so you know I wouldn't put anything less than that just because the quality won't look as best. Now I'll get down to uh, it in a later video, but sometimes I do render my videos in 30 uh, FPS, and um, that's you know that doesn't hurt it. That actually probably makes it a little bit better, but doesn't over uh, exaggerate it and make it more you know laggy and staticky and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, these basically are self explanatory as well. I just put the uh, full resolution render quality on best, Gaussian none, and uh, you know, you can check these. Uh, that's totally up to you. Um, I don't really mess with this too often. That's just a load of crap, to be honest. So I just put, uh, you know, you can put all start all new projects with this. Make sure you never have to come back and keep changing it over. Just click apply and then hit OK again. And you know, that should stay there the way you want. Uh, if you're recording with a Black Magic or HD PVR, that should stay the same. So no worries about that. Uh, so getting in to my render settings, I'm gonna come up here and just click render, stuff like that. Now a lot of people use uh, MP4. I quite frankly do not use MP4. Uh, you know, they come here and they use uh, MP4 right here, and then they have so many templates, and their quality always looks amazing. But I've never found an actual um, really good template. Now I've tried to make mine right here, but that's not the case. I actually use WMV. So, uh, you, you know, you get loads of templates right here. Now, this uh, YouTube one is actually higher. It's 1080p, just basically this one right here. Um, and so, the quality that I use to make my Call of Duty videos, um, you know, for my montages and stuff, because I really want the quality to look really good, I use 1080p with 30 uh, frames per second, just because uh, it's better than my frame rate that I'm capturing in. Just so, it, you know, nothing's too low and every sharp edge looks fine and stuff. So, uh, for my Call of Duty videos, I actually use the uh, 6 um, HD 720 by 30 uh, frames per second video. It works totally fine. This is the video that I use, or the render settings that I use in my video for my Call of Duty uh, commentary, my 36 and 1 uh, singles match. So, if you come in here, you can actually, um, if you just want to make your own, uh, you can break down all these settings in the uh, you know in the audio stuff like that. I just you know leave that all the same. Um, video is basically what you're capturing in, so you don't have to really change anything. The same 29.97 and just 
1280 by 720 so nothing you have to do. The video smoothness, that's up to you. Um, you know, 85 and 90 I would probably stay around. I just kind of like 90 and think if it's good on that. Nothing really to change here. Uh, here you can actually put uh, best if you like and maybe just leave that the same and you know just fiddle around with it. I just use this template just because it works out really good. Some of the edges are uh, perfectly fine. And if you guys uh, always make sure to uh, right click on it and disable resample and just about every single tutorial there's somebody always saying that just you know keep doing that just it, make sure that your video on YouTube doesn't have like a lag like kind of sway that most people do if you're making like a fast gameplay or if you're running in a uh, first person shooter so uh, when I'm going down here into some of my video effects you can come across sharpen now this is also another uh, the more presets that you add on to your video that you're going to be rendering uh, the longer it will take to render so uh, try not to put too many effects, you know, montages and stuff I'll understand, but uh, just be ready that there it will take a longer time to uh, render. So, uh, I actually come down to sharpen and hit reset to none. Now, you guys might not be able to see it, but you guys might. Uh, it just gets a little brighter. I saw it in Ryan's name right there. You just kind of know where to look. Uh, it goes, basically, I mean, it's obviously on none right now, but it actually does help. You know, you don't want it to have, you know, the full amount. You don't want heavy light. Just put it on. And uh, even though that has zero, it actually does make it a little bit sharper on each edge. So that's basically what I do in my videos for you guys. Like I said, if you guys still want uh, color correction videos, I still have a couple of them up here. I can give you guys some, maybe some tutorials on how to make them. Like I said, I use color curves. So uh, that'll be really exciting to see. And they're really sick ones. Just made them all in Sony Vegas as well. So that should help you guys out a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, if you guys could please subscribe and like the video, share and favorite it, and do all that good stuff. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time in the next video.